As the crypto markets continue to take a pounding, Celsius Network has taken over from Terra Luna as the most talked about crypto disaster. Following a major downturn over the last few weeks, Celsius Network did the unthinkable and paused all withdrawals, swaps and transfers between accounts, essentially locking users out of their funds acting in the interest of our community. That's not ideal from one of the largest crypto lenders in the space. But first, let's dive into what is Celsius. Celsius Network is a centralized finance lending and borrowing platform founded in 2017, where users can deposit crypto assets onto the platform and in return, it allows investors to earn generous interest of up to 15 to 18 percent every year, with 80 percent of Celsius earnings going back to their user base. In return, Celsius uses the deposited crypto to generate profits by loaning them out to other institutions and crypto exchanges for a higher interest rate, similar to how a bank makes money using your money. Alternatively, any of Celsius's 1.7 million customers could purchase the Celsius token, CEL, which gives them access to higher guaranteed rates and lower costs. In principle, this business model works. Just look at the banks. However, what Celsius didn't take into account was the volatile crypto markets. Over the last few years, Celsius had ballooned in size and popularity due to its generous interest offers, with the company raising $750 million in November 2021, led by Canada's second largest pension plan, CDPQ, with a valuation of over $3 billion. Their growth was fueled by consistently being able to demand higher yields from their clients than they paid out to investors. However, when the markets tumbled, including seeing Ethereum and Bitcoin take a pounding, Celsius's assets under management fell by 50%, from $24 billion down to $12 billion, meaning they faced a liquidity crisis, and if every investor tried to withdraw their money, they wouldn't be able to fulfill the withdrawals. So Celsius decided to suspend withdrawals a massive red flag in the investment industry, essentially locking their investors out of their money. Michael, give me my money back. Michael, do you hear me? I want my money back. The SEC warned platforms in March this year to account for customer funds, including fining BlockFi $100 million for their interest-bearing accounts due to its unregistered nature. Celsius itself has seen problems with state regulators, including New Jersey, who ordered them to stop doing business. The Texas State Enforcement Board has also begun an investigation into Celsius to protect its constituents' capital. Celsius argue that halting withdrawals means they can honor future withdrawal requests, but in reality, it has led to a run on the bank across other crypto platforms with investors fearing their capital may become locked up too. These centralized finance platforms like Celsius and BlockFi aren't insured by the government, the only safe haven in crypto being an offline storage wallet. Celsius found themselves strangled by crypto prices, continuing to offer high interest payouts whilst also dealing with large customer redemptions. However, Celsius have also locked in Ethereum in exchange for staked Ether to generate additional income, and now Celsius have more than $470 million in staked Ether on their books which means it's almost impossible to exchange it with a counterparty. As a result of this, Celsius have borrowed crypto from FTX and Bitfinex, causing increased debt, and when they halted withdrawals, the Celsius token fell by 70% and is now down 97% from its all-time highs. What's more strange is that right before they halted withdrawals, they sent $320 million to FTX in what appears to be a suspect transaction. While Celsius still holds a huge number of crypto assets, if they begin unwinding their positions, they will flood the market with supply, forcing the price of crypto to fall. Following the Terra Luna scandal, after which Celsius founder Alex Mashinsky had allayed fears suggesting that Celsius had minimal exposure to Luna and UST, it now finds itself at the center of another crypto mess. The cause of this one, however, is that Celsius put in place improper fund management, not accounting for its users' redemptions. This may come as no surprise when you learn that in November 2021, Celsius's group CFO, Yaron Shalom, was arrested in connection to a case of 
crypto fraud at a former employer. In April this year, Mashinsky claimed that Celsius invented yield within crypto. But what's funny is that two days before the withdrawal freeze, venture capitalist Mike Dudas and Mashinsky had a spat on Twitter, with Mashinsky replying, Do you even know one person who has a problem withdrawing from Celsius? Four days later, and Mashinsky was hiring restructuring lawyers. And that's how it happened. Give me my fucking money back, <laughs> you motherfucker.